I just want to keep a quick update on my broccoli that I cut off the big head in order to uh, I guess stimulate or increase the amount of smaller heads and there was a few weeks ago that I did the, the first video on, on uh, how to uh, increase the yield of your uh, broccoli so as you can see there's a lot of small heads here of baby broccoli heads here that you can actually harvest and uh, cook quite delicious and tender and there's so many of them here as you can see you know I keep watering them it's pretty good and I put it add in some organic fertilizer as you can see you know you can enjoy a lot, a lot of these small heads here fantastic for like chef or gourmet cooking you know fantastic see a lot probably more than 10 here that you can see a lot more on this side and you can actually harvest all of this right now look at this you can cut it about this high you know get the whole stem here Quite delicious. Um, more hits coming out here. You can see my old cut that I pruned a few weeks ago. So it is quite strong, quite healthy. I didn't have a lot of pests here. See, quite healthy here. It's pretty it's a good side trunk. And I'll be harvesting this probably in a day or two. I'll give them to my daughter. She like it. <laughs> anyway, we got plenty of this. And this another one here. As you can see that I prune. They come up with a lot of head. Also, I want to show you my Hanover kale here that's been doing fantastic. I mean, they're so huge. I actually harvest a lot of these already. They are more, uh, actually, they grow fairly quick comparing to Tuscan kale and my red Russian kale. It is a lot more easier to, to grow, in my opinion, if you want to grow kale. Uh, Hanover is pretty good. A lot of yield, so many leaves here that you can harvest all over. Alrighty, and this is my uh, purple tree colored that I planted maybe like a year ago and doing quite well. I have harvested a lot of these leaves already. You can see. And if you cut these, you actually can grow them, you know, root, root cutting here, over here, and uh, I did that already. Oh, it's quite easy to grow. It might take a few weeks or a few months to grow from, uh, from root cutting, but they'll, they'll grow. Amazing plant. Very delicious. Uh, take some cooking because they're quite... They're a little bit of tough to chew, you know. You don't want to eat it this raw. I mean, I guess you can make juice out of it, I guess. But uh, you you probably need to cook this, you know, in soup or stir fry and things like that.